Hi guys, let's check out the final product, how it sounds. So the music starts playing and as soon as I hit play and the new, new level loads, the music will continue playing and be faded out. This city. Yeah, this was a small game jam project and I needed to do this. I didn't know how to do it, so I learned about how to do it and I want to share it with you because I think this is something really important. Um, it also showed that knowing about blueprints and the different um, objects inside Unreal Engine is really, really important because the cool thing is that we're using the game instance and the game instance is an object that lives, it gets spawned when you start the game and it lives throughout the game until you close the game. And you can use that to uh, store variables for the duration of your playtime. And the variables can be anything. It can be audio, it can be, I don't know, items, loot, world, states. I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm still learning blueprints, but this is really cool stuff. So we need a game instance to make our music survive the level transitions. So we can create a new blueprint class, game instance, create that one. I already have mine, BP Kovex. So create that one and go into your project settings and select your game instance. So now the project knows, aha, we gotta use that game instance. So let's do something to the game instance. In my case, I've prepared a audio variable. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's just call it something and it's an audio component because the audio component is the thing that we will be handling back and forth. Um, so that one is prepared. And it's empty right now because we will use it later. Uh, the game mode is something that gets called, like the way I understand it, is that's, that it's something that gets called when a map is loaded and you press play, basically. So if you're in game and you load a level, at the beginning of the next level the game mode will be called. And in the beginning of my game mode, I get the game instance and I cast to it and I get the variable out of it, the audio component variable. I promote it to a variable inside game mode, which is game instance audio component reference. And I check if it's valid. Valid means, is, is there anything in there, you know? Because when you load up the game for the first time, it's not, it's not going to be valid. So in my case, I get the current level name, I check if it's the main menu, and if it's true, um, we spawn the sound and we fade it in. And we set the variable inside the game instance. See this blue line? You know, you can just, you know, you can set it. So you can set a variable inside the game instance from inside the game mode. And it's being set. So I open my next level, which is what happens when I click on start the game. The game mode runs again, it checks the game instance and checks the variable. Now the variable has something in it. So we can <coughs> Uh, reference it as the component here and check if it's valid. Yes, it's valid. So now we fade it out. Pretty cool, in my opinion. Like I said, I was, I was very happy to discover this and it works nicely. And I, I don't know if this is the best way to do things in this case, because I mean, you could use just, you could just use the game instance completely for music stuff that will not be touched by um, level changes. You can have like start music and uh, I don't know, switch music. You can have all these custom events here, for example. And from inside, from inside anywhere, as, as soon as you cast to this um, game instance, you can start music or change music. So I think it's best to like um, build a music system inside the game instance. But for this little game jam project, and given that I was doing this for the first time, I'm pretty happy with the results. So if you ever need your music to survive or your sounds to survive a level change, use the game instance.